Good morning, all. I wrap scene, and yes, I am back. It is Monday. It is the 24th of August, 2023. Times uh, right now, 8.25 a.m. Central Time. So while I was gone, did a lot happen? Well, the stock market certainly stayed strong, no question about that. Now, remember, this is a bank week. We have the FOMC, the European Central Bank, and the Bank of Japan all giving us their monetary policies. Today we saw the Politburo is meeting now and they're looking at real estate. They've removed some key phrases out of a statement uh, about home speculation, completely gone. So what does that mean? That's what the market will look at. We're looking at some PMI numbers coming in out of Europe, weakening, especially in Germany. So we're seeing the lag effect of all these interest rate hikes finally starting to kick in. Now, before I go to today's news and talk a little bit more about this, got to tell you one of my experiences. I was in a place called Polson, Montana. It's about 65, 70 miles outside of Missoula, which is the big city around that. That's where the university is and everything. Help wanted signs are everywhere. Verizon, big chain, help wanted signs. Hardware stores, help wanted signs. Walmarts, help wanted signs. Um, so go to a restaurant, very popular in Polson, night music and all Saturday night, sign on the door closed. I go, why are they closed? How could this be? Uh, this is their season. If they don't do anything right now, what are they going to be able to do? The staff, not enough staff shows up. Go to the airport yesterday. This is Sunday. And my plane's two hours late, United. Uh, supposedly a problem in Chicago uh, that they got taken care of. Get on the plane. I ask the uh, flight attendant, is the plane going to be full? And he says, I can't dance you. I said, why? And he says, they're understaffed at the airport. He said, normally we have a, a chat message thing we could do. Nobody's responding to him. Plane, close the door and all, get up in the air. And all of a sudden, this, the flight attendant comes on. The drinks will be served. However, we have no ice. I've never been on a plane without ice. And they go, they are understaffed at the airport in Missoula. Uh, we had told them we were coming in late, and they just didn't have the staff to be able to service the plane for the ice. Now, if you think that the labor markets are weakening, I've just given you one of my experiences. This is a small thing. I don't know how it is everywhere, but everywhere I look still in Chicago, I see four higher signs. We're a pretty big city. Uh, I'm just wondering, you know, how strong the labor market is. Is it stronger than you all think is pretty much what I'm saying. Is it more resilient because people aren't there? And don't get me wrong. I do understand that you go to places in Montana and so on. They're seasonals. But the kids need jobs. Where are they? That was the thing. Now, I did go into a few restaurants there that were fully staffed, jammed as can be. I asked why. Good service. They pay their staff well, they stay there with them year over year. Maybe that's the statement, but the, how would that answer Verizon, Walmart, and things like that? That doesn't make sense completely. So just giving you what I saw. Now, when we look on this morning, we're going to get the uh, U.S. Uh, S&P Global, U.S. Manufacturing CPI at 845. They're expecting it to improve a little bit, and they're expecting the services CPI to drop a little bit. Those are the big items that are on the agenda today. So this afternoon, obviously, what I'll be doing, or I should say late in the day, what I'll be doing for you is coming in and talking the markets. Now, I know a lot of you, and we get letters all the time, hey, I use TradingView. How do you work with that? It's really simple. You go to our website at irapstein.com, and when you're there, you go to the far top right, and you'll see client services and the other things that we do just at the very top. Give it a click, you'll be able to get in here, and under charting software, you'll see the trading view indicators. You sign up there, not in trading view. And from there, we turn it on for you. Could it be any easier? I don't think so. It takes up two of your slots. 
It'll have all the things that I use, the Bollinger Bands, the swing lines, the way that I do the slow stochastics will be in there, which is different than the way you do them. I changed the formula for that. Outside day bars will light up and you can also turn that over. And you're only, folks, you're only gonna use up two of your slots if you do that. So for those of you interested, that's the way to do it. One other important thing as well, for those of you that uh, wanna get my morning subscriber videos right here, you see a blue at the bottom of this, a, a blue box. Give it a click, that's where you do that. I'm I Rapstein. You have a good day. You can click up here. I'll take you right to our website so you can sign up for TradingView. Remember the top right there. You have a great day.